Hi guys, I'm Asaf from Iron Source. This episode, we're going to talk about how to get started with paid user acquisition campaigns and why you should. In today's app marketplace, relying on organic installs just isn't enough for scaling an app. That's because these days the app stores are incredibly crowded. There are millions of apps and games in both the Apple Store and Google Play Store. How is anyone meant to find and install your game? The answer is user acquisition. In the rest of this episode, we're going to be focusing on paid user acquisition campaigns and what you need to know to start building your UA strategy. Let's dive in. There are a lot of different types of media sources out there. You have ad networks like Iron Source, social media sources, social media influencers, alternative channels like device preloads, search channels, and demand side platforms. You've probably already experimented with some of these media sources like Facebook and Instagram. Most game developers begin their very first UA campaigns on these kind of sources because they're easy to set up and convenient to use. But a good UA strategy has lots of campaigns running on a lot of different media sources at the same time. That means not narrowing yourself to just social or search channels, but also running on ad networks and other channels too. Because Iron Source is an ad network, and that's where most of our expertise lies, we're going to spend the rest of the next few episodes talking about starting and running successful UA campaigns specifically with ad networks. There are a lot of ad networks out there to choose from. The good thing is you can choose to advertise with a lot and all at the same time. It's always a good idea to diversify your user acquisition strategy and advertise your game on a whole bunch of different ad networks. It's the best way to increase scale. More networks mean more users and also make sure you're reaching as many types of users as possible. First, does the ad network have a niche and does it match what you need? For example, some ad networks have access to a lot of users and apps in certain locations like Russia or China, while other ad networks are good for certain age groups like Gen Z or millennials. It all depends on what type of users you're targeting. Second, what's the quality of the users the ad network can bring you? Are they users who will just install your game and delete it an hour later? Or users who will stick around and go on to watch ads or make in-app purchases? There are tons of rankings and indexes which can give you a better idea of each ad network's quality score. Third, how much reach does the ad network have? Do you have access to 5 million daily active users or 500 million? You want to make sure that a few of the ad networks you're working with can access a high volume of users around the world. Next, how easy is it to start running a campaign with the network? Is there a platform where you can do it all yourself or do you have to go through an account manager? That brings us to our next point. What other tools does the ad network offer? Do they have additional solutions you can use to improve your performance, like an automated bid optimization tool? Is there a good support team who can help you navigate your first campaign? The more robust an ad network's offering is, the more likely your campaigns are in good hands. And finally, what's the reporting like? And how transparent is the ad network with sharing important insights and information? With more data, and specifically more granular data, you're better equipped to make smarter decisions later on when it's time to analyze your campaign's performance. So just make sure that whatever ad network you end up choosing, they're ready to be open with you. Let's talk a bit about how ad networks prioritize ad campaigns. Like any ad platform, ad networks are all about yield optimization. They'll favor campaigns that generate more revenue for them and their monetization partners. So if the ad network sees good performance from your campaign, it will prioritize it inside its ad serving logic and make sure that the campaign gets an even higher amount of impressions and scale. So how do networks measure good performance? We talked about it a bit in previous episodes, but to recap, they look at your campaign's eCPM, which you can calculate by multiplying IPM, how many installs the campaign is generating, by CPI, how much you're willing to spend per install. The higher your campaign's eCPM, the higher a network's algorithm will prioritize your campaign and its ad serving logic. Because eCPM is the go-to metric here, we say that it represents your buying power inside an ad network. Naturally, a campaign with a high CPM will give you more power to buy even more users. That's because by prioritizing your campaign, the ad network is going to give it a lot of impressions and show it to lots of users, 
giving you scale. One final note before I leave you. UA campaigns on ad networks can be more expensive than other sources. But if you don't have the budget to spend on a UA campaign right now, there's still a lot you can do to get the word out. There are social media channels, email marketing, and even press outreach. Try reaching out to industry publications like Pocket Gamer to feature you, or even YouTube influencers to review your game. You can also share your game on developer groups and forums on Reddit and Telegram. Then, once you've started gaining traction and making money by showing users ads, you can build up the budget to begin paid UA.